Hi everyone, welcome back to another Webby on Cars video. Today I'm going to be showing you around the 2020 Ford Everest Sport. Uh, brand new, just arrived uh, at my work at the dealership. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick look around the vehicle and show you what's different over the, uh, the other standard uh, models in the range. And um, yeah, walk you around and show you what it's all about. So here we have the 2020 Ford Everest Sport. Um, immediately you can tell it's a little bit different from the standard models in the range, just from that new front grille. Um, so it's actually, it fits in between the Trend and Titanium uh, in terms of where it sits in the lineup. Um, so basically it starts off with a lot of the features from the Trend. Uh, it's available with a choice of both engines, so you can have the 3.25 cylinder turbo diesel or the new 2 litre twin turbo 4 cylinder turbo diesel. It gets a few visual enhancements as you can see from the outside. So if we start at the front of the car, as you can see, very different to a standard uh, Everest Trend and Titanium. Uh, you've got this new honeycomb effect, sort of black grille at the front. Um, and then the really big Everest badge all the way across the bonnet there. Um, looks a little bit American actually, I think. Um, they seem to give that, that sort of effect on some of the American cars. Uh, and then the lower section of the bumper, as you can see, is also black as well. Um, other uh, differences at the front. So being a, a 2020 model, we have these new by LED headlamps. Um, so that's standard on Trend and Titanium. Coming around to the side of the vehicle, you can see these uh, got different wheels. Uh, so these are actually 20 inch wheels. Um, so you'd normally get 18 inch wheels standard on the Trend. Uh, so we've now got 20 inch wheels, which is the same size as you get on the Titanium. Uh, you've got the black gloss uh, door mirror caps there as well. Uh, just a little black inserts around the bi turbo badge. You've got the Sport. Uh, decal on the side of the vehicle and then when we come around to the back of the car uh, you get the, the lower insert of the bumper is glass black and then you've got the same effect um, on this strip here uh, where you've got the Everest badging which would normally be chrome on the trend uh, this particular car as you can see has got the optional tow bar um, which a lot of people a lot of our customers go for because um, obviously yeah this type of vehicle is well suited for towing. Uh, on the top of the vehicle, you've got the black roof rails as well, uh, which are normally silver on uh, on the Trend. So it's quite a lot different visually um, than the Trend and Titanium. Um, so yeah, they've definitely gone for the sporty angle, hence the name. Um, and I think it uh, it's going to be a popular model in the, in the lineup. I think because um, yeah, it's a little bit different and. Um, you know, people these days want a car that's a bit more visually appealing than your average sort of run-of-the-mill type of thing. Um, so I think this is, a, this is a good upgrade. So as well as these features here, as I say, it starts off life as a trend. So you get things as standard. Um, your side seals, your, your, your steps along the side are standard. It's got keyless entry, push-button start. It's got the privacy glass, as you can see on the windows. We step inside the vehicle, so it's got leather like you get on a trend, uh, but now we've got this nice blue stitching on the seats as well. Uh, and then you can just see there embossed in the leather is the sport logo as well. Um, just makes you feel like obviously you're in a, a slightly different vehicle. Uh, the stitching carries over to the doors as well, so just down here uh, where you got the, the armrests and a slight bit of stitching here as well. And then these door trim surrounds are slightly different. I don't know how well it's picking up on camera, but it's um, it's blue. Uh, and you've got these sort of lines going through it as well. Um, not sure if it's meant to sort of try and represent like a sort of fake carbon fiber. I'm not too really sure about that. Uh, oh, there you go. You can just pick up the lines there on the camera. Uh, the stitching also carries uh, above. So you can see it there on the top of the dash. So it carries all the way along. A little bit like you get in a range of wild track, uh, very similar to that. Uh, the stitching also then carries on down to the steering wheel as well. Uh, again, same sort of thing as you get in a wild track. 
and the blue that we had on the door trims also carries around here shows up actually is a little bit more blue now um, so around the sat nav system and then also where the airbag um, system is over there as well and um, so that's quite a nice touch so that complements in with the blue stitching which you also get on the gear lever there as well uh, so this particular one is the bi turbo um, you've got stop start and your four-wheel drive mode buttons down there and your parking sensors uh, your terrain mode button there as well so it's all sort of familiar stuff if you've been in Everest before um, so nothing too different um, it still comes as the the seven seater uh, as standard um, but one thing that has changed slightly and this is uh, for all 2020 uh, if we just peel the sticker off here there's actually been a bit of an upgrade to the sync 3 system uh, I've not had a chance to actually uh, see and play with it properly yet um, but it's just you can you can tell sort of the, the buttons are all in the same places they do the same things uh, but the fonts have changed slightly and I think when you go to the home screen I don't know if you've been oh no it's the same yeah it looks very similar um, so it's just a slightly cleaner font um, but I say this is coming out in all 2020 model vehicles uh, so Rangers will get it as well um, they've just started to arrive at the dealership too um, so yes, yeah, that's the new system. Um, so as you can see, it's a nice place to be. So that's my quick intro video to the new Tether 2020 Everest Sport. Uh, I hope you liked it. Um, so I think it's quite a nice car. Um, I forgot to mention it does come in only five colours. Uh, so you've got white, this one is aluminium, you've got meteor grey, black, and then there's a new colour, a uh, new blue colour which actually looks quite nice, which is I think the colour they've done all the advertising in. Um, hopefully we'll get one of those in soon, so uh, it'll be quite cool to see. Um, but if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them below uh, if you've got any comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Um, don't forget to subscribe um, so you can watch out for any more videos that are due to come. Uh, and also hit the notification bell um, so you'll find out as soon as they, uh, they get uploaded. Thanks again for watching and um, don't forget to check out my Instagram and Facebook pages as well. Uh, which are both uh, also Webby on Cars. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all in the next one.